Corporal Robert Dunn recounts the story of Tough As Nails career Marine Sergeant John Stryker. Initially, he is greatly disliked by the men of his squad, particularly the combat replacements, for the rigorous training he puts them through. He is especially despised by PFC Peter Pete Conway, the arrogant, college-educated son of Colonel Sam Conway, whom Stryker served under until the Colonel's death on Guadalcanal, and admired, and PFC Earl Thomas who blames Stryker for his demotion. While the unit is in New Zealand, Conway meets Alison Bromley, and marries her a day before the unit goes to Tarawa. Stryker, whose wife left him years ago and took custody of their son, drinks himself to submission and has to be saved from a naval shore patrol by his men. When Stryker leads his squad in the invasion of Tarawa, the men begin to appreciate his methods. The platoon commander, Lieutenant Baker, is killed seconds after he lands on the beach, and PFCS Farmer Soames and Ski Choinsky are wounded. The Marines are pinned down by a pillbox. Several more men, including PFC Shipley, are killed before Stryker is able to demolish the pillbox with a satchel charge. Later on, Thomas stops for coffee when he goes to get ammunition for two comrades. As a result, he returns too late, the two Marines run out of ammunition, and Helenopolis is killed, while Base is badly wounded. On their first night, the squad is ordered to dig in and hold their positions. Alone and wounded in no man's land, Base begs for help. Conway considers Stryker brutal and unfeeling when he refuses to disobey orders and go to Base's rescue. After the battle, Soames and Base return, and when Stryker discovers Thomas's dereliction from Base, he provokes a fistfight with him. A passing officer spots this serious offence, but Thomas claims that Stryker was merely teaching him judo. Later, a guilt-ridden Thomas abjectly apologizes to Stryker for his dereliction of duty. Back on leave, Stryker reveals a softer side while on leave in Honolulu. He picks up a bar girl and goes with her to her apartment. He becomes suspicious when he hears somebody in the next room, but upon investigation, finds only a hungry baby boy. Stryker gives the woman some money and leaves. Later, during a training exercise, Mahu, a replacement, drops a live hand grenade. Everybody drops to the ground, except Conway, who is distracted reading a letter from his wife. Stryker knocks him down, saving his life, and then proceeds to ball him out in front of the platoon. Stryker and his squad are deployed to the Battle of Iwo Jima where they suffer heavy casualties within the first couple of hours, with Mahu and PFC Harris being killed, and Soames and Frank Flynn being wounded. Stryker's squad is selected to be a part of the 40-man patrol assigned to charge up Mount Suribachi. Conway, who has frequently expressed fears that he is going to die himself, saves Stryker from being killed by a surprise attack, and tells Stryker he is going to name his new baby son Sam, his father's name. Stryker smiles and says a Navy Cross winner's name is good enough for the boy. During the charge up the hill, Eddie Flynn, Stein, and Fowler are all killed. While the men are resting during a lull in the fighting, and shortly after Stryker says he has never been better, he is suddenly shot dead by a Japanese soldier emerging from a spider hole, that soldier is quickly killed by base. The remaining squad members find a letter Stryker wrote but never sent to his son. In it, Stryker expresses emotions he wanted to say to him but never did. Moments later, the surviving squad members witness the iconic flag raising on Iwo Jima. Conway, who has promised to finish Stryker's unfinished letter, echoes Stryker's iconic words saddle up, and leads the men back into the war.